Time to go to work. <sighs> Many times, the, some of the questions that come at me on the blog are, when you're retired in the Philippines, what do you do to stay busy? And aside from the usual answers like ride motorcycles, swim, bike, jog, play tennis, golf, chase women. One of the uh, things that keeps me pretty busy is um, gardening in my yard, as you can see. It's not a big yard, but it can keep me busy. Believe it or not, I just trimmed this tree a week before we left. About two weeks ago, and it, the talisai grows quite rapidly. I cut a lot off. They look a lot better. And uh, what I found on the ground when I was trimming, though, I found these. I think they're. Uh, I think they're talisai seeds. One guy told me this one almost ripe, you can open it and there's, there's an edible nut inside. But I told him I wasn't that hungry, I'm just going to plant them, see what happens. But, uh, boy, these things grow fast. Everything around here grows fast. If you're not the gardening type, there's another bush I have to trim. If you're not the gardening type, this is not the place to live. Unless you can afford to hire it out. Anyway, here's all the, there's my magic mango tree. Here's all the Italici I cut this morning. That's a pretty big pile. And check out my watermelon. I got one watermelon plant. This is it. That thing is just going nuts. I got one melon right there. And one that's almost ready to, ready to pick right here. How you know they're ready to pick is this little, when this little uh, lentil, or whatever they call it, turns brown, then the melon is ready to pick. Also, when you knock on it, it should sound like a knocking on a door. It's not ready. Uh, over here we threw some ampelaya seeds. I've got ampelaya growing crazy. Vines everywhere. But uh, we'll use this empty lot as a garden until we Start our next construction phase. That's my septic tank, which is ready to go. And uh, we need some more dirt. I'll kill off the garden, finish building the wall, and then I'll have to put a fence up in the front. But once I get the lot started, then I'm gonna just keep on building. There's the ocean down there, about a 50 meter walk or so. Not very far. Back to the garden. I locked myself out. It's like I'm always trimming these bushes, cutting the grass. When I first put this grass in, I used to do it by hand, and it got to be too much, so last time we went to Cebu, I found a uh, a Black & Decker weed eater at, I think it was Ace Hardware. And uh, so now I have to weed eat the whole front yard. This yard in here I still have to cut by hand. It takes me, at my pace, it takes me a couple days. I only work on it at a couple hours at a time. But I might have to take, start taking some of this grass out because it's starting to really, starting to really grow. Usually I keep it manicured, but since we've been gone all week up in Subic last week, it's uh, it's starting to get away from me again. And my killer cats found a cockroach. And when they kill cockroaches and geckos, if you're not careful and you step on one, your your foot's covered with ants. But it's a good way to accumulate ants and kill them off. But anyway, gardening in the Philippines. It's, uh, it's a lot like work, but it also makes the San Miguel taste better when that day is over. All right, I got my helper with me, Gizmo. Gizmo is gonna help me cut the grass here. Oh, maybe not, but this is how I do it. 
is done by hand. And because I'm anal, it probably takes me longer than it should. But when I'm done, it looks nice. Yard maintenance in the Philippines. It's more fun. I got a lot to do here. I'll probably get this done today before lunch and then I'll quit somewhere over here. Tomorrow I'll tackle that and beyond. Then I got to work on some of these bushes and shrubs. Like I said, we've been going one week up uh, visiting Subic, visiting some friends and family down in Maravillas. One week a yard can get away from you here and I have no gardener. This mango tree is, uh, I planted this just shortly after we moved in. So it's only about two and a half years old. It's a uh, carabao mango. Um, the tree I showed you earlier outside, this tree and then this one in the pot all came from the same seed. Uh, it grew three stems. I split them all and uh, this is the first one I planted. But with a little luck in about three or four more years, we should have some fruit still around by that time anyway uh, here's a story of my little my pregnant kitten I swear she's probably only about five months old but she's about as pregnant as can get and she's tiny we took her to the vet oh maybe when she was about six weeks old or maybe a little older than that to arrange to have uh, have her fixed and the vet kept saying oh okay I got to order the anesthesia I got ordered the anesthesia she kept putting us off she had to order the anesthesia and well it's too late now no anesthesia is going to fix this problem she's going to have kittens I don't know what we're going to do with them because uh, this is her her brother, and I think he's the, he's might be the papa, but uh, they'll all come out with short tails if he's the papa, because they both have short tails, and we won't know until the the uh, the final tabulation is in. We'll see what color they are, but I bet you he's the papa. This guy here, this is Gadget. He's fixed, so he ain't the papa. It's either that one or an outsider who sneaks in here during the evening. Anyway, anybody in an, in the hunt for a kitten, we've got them. Just got to come to Samar to get them. Okay, I got to get back to my yard work, so catch you next time. Stay cool. Have a beer for me. Out. <laughs>